OK, welcome back to, um, to the AM show. Good to have you um, along today. Well, I've really enjoyed today's show. Now, Polo, uh, that game with horses and, and the sticks. But did you know there's a new version of it? It's, it's Urban Polo. I'm in awe of these guys. You know, horses are massive and they're scary and they're hard to ride. And Sam Hopkinson is one of New Zealand's top polo players and he can ride a horse too, which is quite, quite crucial, I think, in this. And he joins us now to tell us more. Um, G'day, Sam. Nice to, nice, nice to meet you. Morning. Welcome to the programme. How hard is this to do? Uh, well, yeah, it is hard, and I think that's why it's the uh, that's why it's so addictive. It's a sport that is you sort of you you're always trying to get better. You know, you can't just turn up with your rugby boots or your tennis racket. You're you're constantly uh, you've got horses, as you mentioned before. You know, you, you have to have a string of horses that you're running all the time to be able to stay competitive. So you have to turn up with a good horse plus be able to to play the game as well. So there's a number of um, uh, there's a lot involved in being good at it. There's a, a lot of moving parts. A lot of moving parts, And exactly. the room for yeah. error is not too great, I would have thought. I mean, you come off the horses, you're in trouble. Yeah, well, the rules of polo are designed to try and protect the horses and players, but, but when there's eight horses galloping at full speed back and forward there, when things do come unstuck there, it, it is classified as an extreme sport for that reason. You got life insurance? I've got very expensive life yeah, insurance. I was say. <laughs> Have you come off? Yeah, I've had a few falls. I've, yeah, significant ones. Yeah, yeah. The heart jump, I think, the heart I think, jump um, out of the old body. Well, in any sport, when you you know when the adrenaline's running, you sort of you, you put that out of your mind mm. and, and away you go. So you don't think about it. But um, uh, certainly, my mother and my now and my wife, they, they probably think about it a lot more than I do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have played against the Royals or up against them before. Who should pick as the best, and how intimidating is it being up against them? Well, look, when I was, um, I first went over from Christchurch playing polo internationally, and playing against the Royals was a, a, a bit of an eye opener. But I, I sort of probably took it for granted at the time because since, since coming back home, you know, the only question I really get asked is, did I play with the Royals when I was overseas? <laughs> Which um, you sick of this? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of the first question that you get. But <laughs> thanks, Amanda. <laughs> you know but, we love it. We're but it's a good intrigued. question. Yeah. Um, when I first went over, there, I played with all three when Prince Charles was still playing. Um, he was a very good polo player. Very good horsemen. The two, um, Wills and Harry, don't play as much because they're busy with royal duties, but but um, they were good fun to play with, just normal blokes, just wanted to get out there and be treated like everyone else. And they, they um, had the liniment on and have a beer afterwards? Absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, Norm, no, normal guys? Normal guys, yeah. I, I think that the players are fairly normal. Are they players? What do we call you? Riders, players? Players. Yeah, yeah. it's 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 the, the crowd that's the issue, isn't it? <laughs> you know, the, the swanky high noters that are, that are watching you play this down-to-earth sport? Well, there's, um, there's different crowds at different events. I mean, you know, polo is probably, and one of its problems is what we're trying to do with the Heineken and polo is bring the sport to the people so they can understand it more because most people probably haven't seen a game of polo. And if they had seen a game of polo, they probably wouldn't have understood the rules or, or exactly what was going on. So, um, yes, the crowd can be a bit... Depends what they're coming for, whether they're coming to enjoy the sport and or the, and the game, or whether they're coming just for a social event to enjoy that. Yeah, you know. I think most go for the latter. To be honest, yes. <laughs> was, it, was the word swanky? Was it? Yeah, you oh. know. I thought they you know. Drop these. Um, what about? Um, do they abuse you from the sidelines? Like, oh come on, that sort of thing. Does that happen? Well, um, I mean, you obviously have your diehard fans that, that follow the game. Certainly overseas in, in England, there's a lot of, you know, in England, Argentina, not so much in New Zealand. In New Zealand, it's predominantly played by farming families, Yes. Um, which is with the Heineken and Polo. What we're trying to do is bring the sport into the city. We've shortened the format of the game. We've tried to make it more exciting, more accessible for people to get down to watch. So effectively, the field is now half the size. It's it's a, it's. a We've tried to make the seven aside version, the T20, the big batch. It's like every sport, isn't it? They're trying to uh, make it faster, better, more exciting. For the spectator, hmm. exactly. So our game is very hard to televise because people don't understand the rules. So what we've done is we've changed it, we've, we've adapted the rules, we've got a smaller ball, we've got less players on the field, less rules, so it's not as complicated to watch, hmm. and and tried to get more people on. We've included music, so you know our, our game, the Heineken and Polo, is a fusion of sport and music. We're trying to push the, the polo, but we're also trying to push yeah, it. And you don't have to have a European car to turn up, you don't need the polo the Land Rover and the well, we encourage you to turn up in, a, in an Uber or a taxi because okay. you know. yeah, because of the drink, <laughs> because of the, the, the responsible <laughs> thing. Yes, I get it. Hey, yeah. it's lovely to meet you. All the very Thank best. You very yeah, much. I'm in awe of what you guys do. Good idea.